Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 28th of February. I'm James Spann. Hey, you know, it begins tomorrow. It's the beginning of meteorological spring. How about that? Very cold this morning, but a nice weekend warm up ahead. Maybe a little rain tonight. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture. First off, we note that big storm slamming into California. A lot of rain there, but that's rain they could use. We notice a little wave west of the state that could bring a touch of rain in here tonight, but the bulk of the weekend should be dry. The next really big rain event will be early next week on Monday. Yeah, it's cold this morning. It's cold as 19 up in Fort Payne. Mostly mid-20s around here. We'll expect upper 50s later today. Around the nation, it's still brutally cold up around the Great Lakes, the winter that just will not go away. And more winter weather problems possible. Winter storm watches in effect from Tulsa and Fort Smith, Arkansas, up to Wichita and Kansas City, then over to St. Louis and Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Winter storm warnings for parts of Montana and Montana. Also winter storm warnings for the mountains of California. And around here, the counties in purple, that's the uh, red flag warning for the potential of wildfire danger again today because of the very dry air. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning of next week. Uh, rain amounts of about one half inch here. Heavier totals to the northwest. And if you're looking for snow, there you go. That's the a chance of greater than one inch between noon today and noon tomorrow. And you can see the northern states getting more of the white stuff. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. Well-defined shortwave moving into Louisiana and Arkansas. And again, that could squeeze out some light rain tonight. But the day should be dry. We'll call it partly sunny, the high in the upper 50s, but clouds will likely increase by mid to late afternoon. And this is tonight at 8 o'clock off the high-res NAM. And really, it's got a nice little batch of showers coming through here. So tonight, after 6 o'clock, got something planned outdoors. Be aware you might get wet. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. The bulk of that is gone. The sky should be cloudy. But I think the sun breaks out tomorrow afternoon. This is 3 o'clock, and we're pretty much dry and if the sun indeed can break out, we'll expect a high in the mid-60s tomorrow. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 66. And Sunday should be warmer. In fact, uh, guidance coming in now between 72 and 75. Very balmy. Early March weather, but rain off to the west. And Monday, rain comes on through here. Rain may be beginning late Sunday night, I'd say. From looking at this, the main window for rain could be from midnight Sunday night until noon Monday. Uh, really no instability, no severe weather, maybe some thunder. And the rain amounts probably one half inch. The uh, QPF numbers have come down a bit, and that's a cold high coming in behind that. But again, the modeling has been actually very consistent here in the past, what, 24 hours of keeping the cold air air north of here. And instead of being slammed... With really cold air, it's just a cool down. And we'll start to lean in that direction. This would drop the highs uh, back in the uh, low to mid 50s on Wednesday, and we'll probably start the day in the 20s. This is Wednesday, and, and look what's happening down there at Gulf Storm. So, really, we're thankful that, you know, brutally cold air is not coming in here because, boy, that would be trouble. But the thickness values are suggesting Wednesday we could see a high around 60. And then Thursday, it's a wet down, a classic Gulf low south of Biloxi with a big rain for Alabama. And uh, the European is in pretty good agreement with that, although it's got the heaviest rain really from Interstate 20 south. So by uh, Thursday of next week, it could be pretty wet. And then Friday, that rain uh, moves out as the surface low rolls up the eastern seaboard. So it looks like a couple of decent chances for rain next week on Monday and then again on Thursday. March 10th, 
Ooh, big cold trough in the east. And if that's right, that would be sharply colder. And on the 15th, it's warmer with rain approaching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.